Hey guys, welcome to Tino Tech Hub. If today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Today, I want to show you how to share a file from one computer to another on the same Wi-Fi. Sometimes people have to struggle to share the file to Google and then download it again, Google Drive, or some have to share it by uh, email, others have to use a flash drive or a hard drive to copy it from one computer and then share it to the other computer. Today I'm going to show you the quickest way to share the, the files from one computer to another computer on the same Wi-Fi. It's the easiest and the fastest. You can share very huge files and very large files quickly. Follow me as I take you through. Alright, so first of all, I have some files here that I would like to share to my other laptop or my other computer. Alright, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that both computers are on the same Wi-Fi. So my computer here is on this Wi-Fi that is 2.4G. I have to make sure that the other computer is also on 2.4G. Alright, uh, the first thing you have to do is go to control panel. And then click on network and internet after that go to network and sharing center then you look at the left side you will see change advanced sharing settings you click on it at private networks make sure that network discovery is on and then file and printer sharing is also on then come to all networks at all networks make sure that uh, password protection is off so don't put it on you can leave this one on or off there is no problem next we are going to create our folder that we want to keep our um, files in which is gonna be a public folder so that the other computer can take it from there uh, you go to file explorer um, I can decide to keep them on desktop so I can click on desktop I go to new and then I create a new folder my folder has been created here it's easy some people would like to just um, right click directly on the desktop and then go to new and then go to folder you can give it a name shared you right click on this folder then you go to show more option at more option scroll and then go to give access come to specific people select everyone and then click add now click here and then give permission as read or write and then you can click share now when you look here you will see that your folder is shared right you click done now the next thing to do is to move all those files that i want to share with the other computer into the folder so now this folder is a public folder that any computer that is on the same wi-fi with me is gonna get access to these files so Anytime I go there, I can just download the files on any other computer as far as I connect it to the same com um, internet or Wi-Fi. So let's go to the other computer and then see how we're going to do that one also. Alright guys, so on the second computer, you first of all have to check if your Wi-Fi is also on the same network or your PC is on the same Wi-Fi as the first one. Alright, you go to File Explorer then you go to networks now when you open networks any device that is on the network automatically is going to show up if it doesn't show up it means your network or your computer has not been set to discovery that any other computer on the network should be discovered because of that you can go back to control panel same as we did on the same pc you can just go to control panel you go to network and internet you go to network and sharing center change advanced sharing 
and then make sure that network discovery is on file and printer sharing is on and then you come to uh, all networks public sharing folder and uh, password protected those ones are not important all right if you do that everything or every computer that is on the network is going to show all right so you go to your file explorer and then you go to network this is my computer i mean the first computer on which i have shared the file all right let me just double click and open it i go to users then i go to tino one that's the name of my computer when you double click it you're gonna see desktop you go to shared folder and then every file that is on the previous computer is going to be seen here you can go through any of them that you want you can just select and copy them so i'm just gonna select this one and then copy all of them right click copy then i will come to my desktop i can just create a new folder oh i think i made a mistake by pasting let me just take them off all right right click select all all those files i need and then i copy them then i come to my new pc desktop folder um i can give it any name new tt or anything and then i'll paste it here so simple so any other computer that is on the network can access files from the other computer since they are shared i can equally drop files on this shared folder for the other computer to also accept for example let me just come here and let me see if i have any picture here okay so i have some few pictures here on this computer i'm just gonna drop this one only this picture of the baby i'm gonna drop it here yeah all right that picture has been dropped here you can see it here this one okay so when i go to the other pc i'm gonna find it there so let's go back to the other pc to see if we will find the same picture that we put here if we are going to find it on the other pc all right guys when we come here you can see that the picture that i put here is here it's the same picture yeah you can see it there yeah and uh, there is another one here that's uh, the picture of the girl the little girl this one is also here so it tells you that anytime you upload a file to this folder any computer that has access to this network is going to accept all those files they'll be able to get them now let's go to the last part if you want to stop sharing or you you don't want computers to get access to the shield folder anymore the only thing you have to do is right click go to show options and then go back to give access and then click on remove access and then that's it no other person is going to have access to this folder anymore. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And then don't forget to share with your friend. I'm going to come your way another time with a new video. Peace. Shalom. Bye-bye.